The all-time leading goal scorer in Division I lacrosse history. He's automatic with the left hand. You said they speak the same language. They do speak English up in Canada, <laughs> where Cormier hails from. At the face-off exit, it's the freshman Brady Wambach who's been outstanding for North Carolina. Anthony Gobriel returns after missing three games for Virginia. An early violation on UNC, and it will be Virginia ball to start things off. Cavaliers come into this game with one of the top offenses in the country. They average more than 15 goals per game. All the way to the cage, uncontested. That's Noah Chismar playing the wings of the faceoff, one of the D middies, and that was Matador defense from North Carolina. This is strategy, Anish. If you look, the whole unit basically stays on. Chismar was a wing. Ben Ware, the long pole, is a wing. They trap the faceoff team from North Carolina knowing that they could get to the rack. Noah Chismar was an attackman in high school, so he feels really smooth and comfortable getting to the rack. But I love the strategy by Lars Tiffany. He keeps his unit on to go against North Carolina's unit because he knows he can strike even with his defensive-minded wing players. Virginia two for two off the ground. Here's the Harvard transfer. Chase Yeager, UVA today, without one of its top short stick. Smooth stick skills. Right-handed, left-handed player in each. Kind of a chameleon in that offensive set. Off the faceoff, this is Andrew Tyre. He's a faceoff man who plays wings as well. And Tyre last year was one of their top squid. But he also is never going to rush the play. He's always going to allow it to kind of marinate and fester and then just wait for for a play from North Carolina defensively to get out of sync and then he'll spot feed. He wields that stick like a surgeon's scalpel. Here comes Virginia. Potential unsettled opportunity for Peyton Cor Tension amongst the, the teams in the conference. Wambach and Gobriel in a battle. The wings get involved and it's scooped up by Ben Weyer. He's a threat to score. Weyer fires, save Krieg. Off the ground, the freshman Peter Tobin flips it ahead. Errant pass. That Card, you happen. understand why North Carolina has to take those chances because in a settled set, they're outmatched against Virginia. But if you give Virginia yeah, something to watch here, North Carolina is using two short sticks on the wings of the faceoff, looking to get early offense if they can win the draw. It's the confidence in Brady Wambach, their freshman, saying, we believe he can win the draw. And if we get caught on defense, we're going to take that chance with three shorties. Noons with a trebuchet. Now, Putting Colin across Krieg. the face increases the angle. I don't think Colin Creek gets enough credit as one of the top goalies in America. It's been too many times of late where he's been left out to dry by the defense. You saw in 2021 when they had a pretty Stun. good defense. He won. Four of the six Virginia goals assisted. We come up on a minute to play in a first quarter dominated by the Cavaliers. This coming off a lackluster effort against Harvard. The Virginia coaches telling us they just felt that and the team wasn't as locked in as they should. Bring in a freshman class that was number one in the nation. They're now juniors. That class really has not lived up to the expectations. That's the reality of it. Now they've not had a ton of impact players from that group. We get a whistle on the faceoff. It's on Virginia. Carolina wants its offensive personnel in there. So Lance Tillman on that pipe. The placement on McGovern's lefty rip was fantastic. Wambach had the faceoff one, and it comes back to Geppert, the Brown transfer. And now North Carolina sets up its clear, so Heels getting more looks on Cage. They only had one shot on goal in that first quarter. the substitution game he has someone trapped a player who doesn't want to play defense when you don't want to play defense guarding is one thing off the ball is even another thing to take advantage of uh, they get a hold without possession on North Carolina first team all-american in two positions as a midfielder as a freshman 
in the next three years as an attackman. He's the all-time leading point scorer in Virginia lacrosse history. The other five players in the top five all played more games than him. Everyone says, oh, he's around for, for 2020. Scores another. I'm going to continue on this guy. In 2020, the COVID year, everyone got that extra year. Connor Schellenberger was red-shirting regardless. He never stepped on the field. If you look at what he's done and the body of work, as a freshman, all he did was win a national championship and was the tournament's most outstanding player. He's a four-time first-team All-American. That is like uncharted territory. Trevor Baptiste did that. Michael Powell did that. I think Jack Turnbull did 100 years ago for Johns Hopkins. Good look there by Carolina. Tire. Del Dressel from Johns Hopkins yep. was as to Dewey Egan. Egan didn't play last week. Fifth goal of the season. Top 15 recruit in that 2021 class. Here is Tyre off the faceoff wings. Over to Wambach. Fire save Noons. Picked up by Schroeder. He lost it in the Carolina minefield. McGovern gets it back in the Tar Heels. Not a freshman record. He's also closing in on Nicky Galasso's freshman points record. That's going to go back to Carolina. So Virginia put Thomas Colucci, grad transfer from Colgate at the faceoff X, and Carolina can now play make it, take it lacrosse. See the importance of Owen Duffy, though. Part of the last two goals for North. Big swooping motion. You, you allow a defense to prepare for a pass. When it's right off the ear like that, it's sudden. Final seconds, Tyre slings one into the cross of Matthew Nunes. Kevin Cassis, the offensive coordinator for Virginia, told me yesterday. And just waiting for the offense to get through their progressions and they get through their cuts. This is a situation, though. North Carolina does have an opportunity to get back in this game with, with Brady Wambach, the freshman sensational faceoff man. All right, they get a loose ball push on Virginia, and faceoffs are an avenue for North Carolina. There were times in the opening half where UNC missed some chances. Back lower left side with L Logan McGovern. You saw Carolina just with the crisp passing. That looked like almost how Notre Dame uses the high crease in Jake Taylor. Another face-off won by the Tar Heels. Looking to go. Bounce shot save by Nunes. The outlet to Colucci and Virginia pushing the other way. The counter. Schellenberger whips it. And it'll be North Carolina ball. Creed got a piece of it. The versatility of a player like him to sweep across, almost like a traditional midfield dodging move. It makes him a tough cover. Colucci wins the faceoff. The Colgate transfer all the way. Missed the cage. Millen's got the backup. You know, that's one of the things I love about some of the attackmen nationally. Millen right there showing you versatility, playing all over the field. There's Ben Ware. Shows you the shooting prowess of Griffin Schutz, who I believe is one of the top four midfielders in college lacrosse right now. We talk about shooting, too. He's above 40% on the season. As a midfielder. Yes. And the Carolina team as a whole, under 30%. He probably needs to shoot more. Tommy McNeil pops it into the air. Virginia wins a faceoff. And when we were at practice yesterday, Griffin Schutz goes by. He looks like a linebacker. Yes. You know, you and I cover ACC football. I mean, Griffin shots went, but I think the, the Schellenberger, O'Neal, Kavanaugh, they call it the greatest draft because we've been talking about these guys for the last four years. And when they would become pros, how in Tim take him too far south, he's going to lose his angle. So he, he see this core strength and the ability to swoop the stick back right hand and rip it. Virginia stays on the attack. How badly does Weyer want to be a part of this? 44 and white, the long pole. Looks like he's going to run off. I was watching him in practice. Yeah. Out of Highland Park. Coach Pressler's doing a phenomenal job down there. I mean, they're playing teams like Culver and, and all the Giants and going toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. Kyle Coopman. Morris is in cage. And Anish, when you talk to Kip Turner, the goal 27 in Carolina Blue, Dubner. 
sticks it. But I think Kip Turner, as a goalie coach, might be the best in the business. When you watch the way that he develops goalies. Future head coach. Yeah, and, and the way that he also, the rapport he has with these goalies, like the relationships they all have with each other, like Kyle Morris and, and, and Matthew Nunes. They're like two peas in a pot during.